Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 869. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 869-872, click on the link below the video. In this video, we have a column, a little data set. I just made a little data set here. But the trick is, is we need, instead of actual dates, we need a column that shows the first day of the week. And the first day of the week is Friday. So for this entire column right here, I need this date. But I don't want to have to do it manually for a huge column, so we need to see a formula. We're going to look at the weekday function. Now, the weekday can take a serial number and give you a number like Friday is 1 or Monday is 1, comma. In 2010, there's a bunch of new uh, arguments here for return type. In earlier versions, it had 1, 2, 3. So you could say Sunday is 1, Monday is 1 or Monday was 0. All of these are new. So I'm going to select this one, and then I'll show you how to do it in earlier versions. I'm going to select 15. Notice Fridays 1 through 7. So 15. Let's just see what that does. That is sucking the format from there. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift Tilde, which applies general. Double click and send that down. Now. What I want is a formula that will always list this Friday, right? Well, what if I just had the in this cell right here, that date minus 6? Well, because this is a serial number, if I subtracted 6, that might work. Actually, you can see right off here, subtracting 1, that would give us one day too early. But let's just look at this. I'm going to edit this right here. So the actual serial number minus the result of the weekday. I'm going to use, notice I have the whole column highlighted, F2 to put it in edit mode to populate all of the highlighted cells. I hold Control and Enter. Now that's one day off, so I simply take it F2 and add one back in. That's using this new argument, second argument in weekday, 15. All right, so in earlier versions, we're still going to use the weekday, but we're limited to comma, one, two, three. I'm going to select um, three, because that'll give me a 0 for Monday. Let's just see what that does. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Now, what do I really want? If I'm going to take this date here and subtract some number, I need 0, 1, 2. So what am I going to do? F2. I'm going to, from this serial number, subtract 4. Right? This result right here is 4. So if I simply subtract 4 from that, Control Enter to populate, I get exactly what I want. Subtract 0, 1, 2, 3, et cetera. F2. Now I simply say minus. Control Enter. And there you go. You have the first, an extra column with the first day of the week. All right, see you next trick.